No, it wasn't just a bad dream. Dang it. Hit a moose yesterday. Hit a moose. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're gonna have to go back and watch yesterday's vlog. I didn't actually capture the hit on film, but I talked about it and explained what happened afterwards, so now the whole trip has changed. We got a whole different plan and whatnot, so this trailer's staying in this area here. Someone's coming to recover it, and then we're gonna figure out how to get my truck fixed. The truck still drives, and it's still safe to operate during the day, but I can't drive at night because I only got one headlight. So, we don't know what we're going to do yet. But I'll let you know when we know. So yeah, it doesn't look that pretty. Diesel's like, dude man, this thing smells funny. Does it smell like a moose, man? Does it smell like a moose? <laughs> Something definitely smells different here. Something's up, man. Don't like it, weirdo. Might as well get my one drop unloaded that I have to unload here in town because we're at our destination. Might as well unload that and then uh, and try to get this trailer recovered so I can get this truck to a body shop and get an estimate. Oh, I was really hoping that that was just a bad dream, but I knew it wasn't. I, I knew what reality was. Jaws barely nicked her hind end and she took half my fender with her. That was a very bad transaction. I did not profit from that. So, what I've been uh, I've been talking about uh, getting this truck fixed with safety, with dispatch, and with the shop. Uh, obviously, because there's only one headlight, this truck can't be operated at night. Uh, my signals work and marker lights work all the way around the truck, and my daytime running light works which is also my marker light on this truck that is my daytime running light so i can drive this truck during daylight hours but as soon as the sun goes down pfft, you gotta park your trucker josh no night driving which is fine because the moose come out and play at night apparently moose they always get in the way but anyways uh so yeah like i was saying we're gonna deliver the two drops we have here in town and then I think we're going to head over to Prince Albert, which isn't too far away from here. And that's where a driver can recover this trailer. And then we're going to uh, probably get this truck home because it'll, it'll be cheaper to fix it at home. I'm going to have to get a new hood, which is the most expensive part, new bumper, and get all the wheels aligned and whatnot. But I don't think the wheels are out of line because I don't think it even touched the tire. It bounced right off of my, my front end there. The radiator's okay. Airlines are okay. Suspension's okay, tire's okay, oil is okay, everything's okay. It just took the fiberglass off, that's all it did. It just, I literally just nicked its rear end, like I took its butt out and it took my fiberglass fender with it. So it actually didn't really hit my truck, it just hit the fiberglass, just, just nicked it. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna get this truck home probably and fix it there. What a day. I knew it had to happen sooner or later. I was having way too good of luck not hitting any wildlife, and this is Canada, there's wildlife everywhere. This is why you guys need a moose bumper. This is why I need a moose bumper. So that's the extent of the damage. It's just cosmetic. It's just a flesh wound. I recognize him. This is Ken, he recognized me. Are you from this area? I'm from PA, yeah. From PA, okay. Yeah. So we're in Prince Albert in Saskatchewan here. I'm waiting for the guy to come and uh, take my load for me. And I see him looking at uh, the damage on the front of my truck. And I'm sort of hoping, oh, I hope he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is damage on my, any other time. Any other time be all right, <laughs> but not this time. Eh? Yeah, so uh, anyway, so there's proof that that I did hit a moose. It'll be on the internet by now already anyways, but. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, eh? not, nothing gets by that. Yeah, I, I can't just leave that out. They'll figure it out. Yeah. But oh, it's just, just good to kind of meet someone there that you, you, know, you yeah. get to see on the internet and then you actually get to meet them. That's, that's awesome. 
Yeah, there's a couple of people. The driver who's coming to pick me up or pick up my trailer knows who I was too. Oh well, yeah, let's shake your hand. It's nice hey, to meet you. Yeah, real good, Josh. Is yeah. that your bike over there? Yeah, that's my bike, yeah. Oh. I've got to have at least one toy. Nice. Well, can we take a look at it? Sure, yeah. Hey, hold on. So it's a Shadow. Shadow, yeah. My dad really likes these bikes. Yeah. Just, just, I went out to BC on it last year, through the mountains, and that was a good ride. Okay. Just went out there for a ride. Hopefully the wind noise won't be too bad. I'm trying this new camera out, and it doesn't like the wind very much. Oh, really, eh? Oh. Yeah. But uh, it's a lot easier to hold. Oh yeah. This is a very nice bike, all nice and... I guess this is one of your last rides of the year. Yeah, it's getting there, eh? Yeah. Uh, you guys gotta have at least one toy for all the work to do, so... Oh yeah, gotta have at least one toy. I don't see mine nearly enough. <laughs> this is... <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so we're just hanging out here and chatting it up. Yeah. Here he is. Here's the guy who's come to save me. It's Matt! He's come to save me. Look at him rolling down them landing gear like a boss. How's it going, YouTube? Come on. Just a heads up, you need this for that. Oh! Need a couple Just more. Add more to your day. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, so, yeah, he drives a truck someone, somewhat like I used to drive. The old Peterbilts. I almost miss that standard transmission sometimes. I miss an automatic sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm taking this trailer, which is empty, I think, right? Is it empty? Yes, no dead bodies empty. or anything in there? I uh, hope not. I mean, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. And he's going to take over my load, which is going to Alberta. because the, uh, dead moose in that trailer? That Shinobu? No, I, no, I didn't keep it. I, w I wish. You wish? Food. Uh, yeah, I would have <laughs> ate it. I would have ate it for sure. I don't know. She's probably, I don't even know if she's dead or not, but too bad no idea where it went i didn't really want to go and take a look because uh she could have been angry i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I gave her a pretty good spanking did you yeah i just barely nicked her butt i was uh headed headed down this way and she was just sort of walking off the road and i couldn't quite get around it and i just sort of pushed her off the road and just gave her a little seen her last minute it was dark out oh it was pitch black yeah wow too bad Anyway, so I'm gonna unhook. Yeah, well, he's gonna uh, unhook. We'll do a little switcheroo. The switcheroo. -y. And then, yeah, this is very much like mine, except you got the the fancy little LED uh, turn signal here. And mine didn't have that. This truck is usually spotless. Usually spotless. It's usually spotless. I'll take your word for it. Well, Alberta got snow, man. I don't know if you've heard. Oh, do you drive through the snow? Oh yeah. This it sand. Nice. They didn't even sand. Uh, yesterday was pretty bad because they didn't even sand the, the highway. I... Or no, no, sorry, the first day. Uh, Monday and Tuesday was bad. Yesterday was when they finally had the plows ready to go all through Alberta. We got like uh, snow. No, snow. <laughs> no. That is insane. So yeah, this truck has seen snow this year already. I haven't seen snow yet. <laughs> he bought me Timmy's. <laughs> He's my new best friend. With an espresso shot. Yeah, yeah the espresso shot. So. You guys are wondering what kind of coffees I get. <laughs> I always get a large of two milk and a shot of espresso. And you get an extra large because you're hardcore. Double double, you know. Double double. That's that's true Timmy's, the double double. I got out of my bed bright and early this morning to come save your load. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he saved me and he bought me coffee. I'm gonna have to make an extra good video now. Don't get me wrong, I didn't spend more than I earned, but you know what I mean, right? I bought a house last month, 
and this month I hit a moose. So that's part of trucking though guys. You guys want to get the real, real deal what trucking's all about? This is what it's all about. Stuff happens. You just gotta sort of shrug your shoulders and go, well, let's get her fixed and keep going. What else can you say? Getting mad won't help. You just gotta take it as it comes. Yeah, I had uh, two expensive months. Last month I had planned to have an expensive month out of vacation and then I moved and bought a house. The following month, which is this month, I hit a moose. I was not planning on hitting that moose. There was no premeditation. So we're making good progress, good progress. We are making progress on the way home, progress. I don't know either, I'm just a strange person. So I uh, hope you guys have been enjoy enjoying all the new camera angles. I've been trying hard to bring you guys new angles. I've got new equipment and whatnot that I've been trying out, so I'm excited about it. Oh, we still got a ways to go to home yet. And Somebody wants to talk to me. Oh no, my phone. Why does my phone ding like that every time it finds service? Like there's like no service here, but every time it finds like one little shred of service, it's gotta tell me, hey, there's service here, just so you know. Does your phone do that? Only one of my phones does that. The white one's my American phone. The black one's my Canadian phone. Only my American phone likes to tell me every time something happens. Strange. All right, onward. We need to get this truck fixed. guys that is the end of another day I'm about to sit down here I've got two videos to edit made it as far as we could in daylight hours and we will continue our direct route to the shop tomorrow when the Sun comes back up do not pass go do not collect $200 go straight to the shop I'll see you tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time for the continuation of this journey back and to figure out what we're gonna do the truck will probably go into the shop on Monday I'm guessing so we'll have the weekend at home you guys ready for some home time vlogs
because there's gonna be some home time vlogs coming up. I'll try to keep it interesting. I'll put some extra effort into it because we've been having a lot of home time vlogs lately. So we'll find something interesting to do. Hope you all join me then. I'll see you tomorrow.